I Tark Pipsy. Same recording session as part one and two. Let's try trophy challenge. Trophy Enter trophy race. Okay, if I if I guess. Dino domain. Trophy. I did. Oh, round one actually. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna race, man. And I don't think you have to fight the race the boss at the end of this, so that's a good thing because details. Go. Wow, they're racing way faster than they were. This is like 150cc. Gosh. Excuse me, crutch. Do, 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 do. Excuse me, tip top. Tip, tip top? I don't know. Got to actually pull out all the stops on this one. Oops, I'm drifting a little bit. I need to turn my sensitivity down on my controller. It's a little floaty. I don't need that. Oh man, <laughs> I got pretty far ahead of them. Yeah, so essentially the 50, uh, 100, 150 cc's of Mario Kart is the first race is 50 cc, the coin race is 100 cc, and the trophy race is 150 cc. That's basically how I interpret it anyways. So I got nine points. Awesome. That's good. Rank one. Yeah, of course. The mouse is always in number one spot because Speedy Gonzales, right? Fossil Canyon. Fossil Canyon. Excellent. Get ready! Hey, I got a level two, a level blue. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I didn't even let go of the gas when I went over the speed booster. Details. Excuse me, Crutch. I'm probably always gonna call him Crutch. I don't know why. I think his name is Crush or something like that. Crunch? I don't know. Oh, I missed the speed booster, and he did not, so he can have a missile <laughs> as a consolation prize. <laughs> oh, bother. Okay, Krusha, you need to get out of here. Go back to Kremland, where you belong. Wow, that was a little offensive. Um, I don't want any of your minds, mister. Oh, there's a Trebidosops there. A Trebidosops, yes, that's exactly what that was. Did you not realize what a Trebidosops was? That was one. Alright, well, I have a backup plan here. Somebody decides, somebody decides to pass me. I got ten missiles for their butt. Wow, that was offensive. Excuse you, Mr. Crushtastic Galactic Fantastic. I want him to pass me anyways. Does this give me 10 again? It does, okay. You're gonna have to quit that with the balloon pop in there, Mr. Crusher. Mr. Back in the USSR. What? That was forced. I should have probably skidded through there, but details. I win. I was about to say he's hot on my tail, but there he is. Man, he's way further back there than I thought he was. 18. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Second and third place are tied. That's good. I like that. It, they have to split the coins uh, points between one another. Jungle Falls. All right, now no shenanigans. No jumping in the water or anything here, Dipsy. Dipsy now. Okay, your name's gonna change every episode probably. I'm not sure if it's actually worth going to that speed booster, but I generally do. And it's good to use that speed booster here because it's really hard to dodge those balloons. And this is uh just prevents you from getting hit by stuff. The mines and the missiles, etc. etc. Et 
It's a hard word to say. I said etc for so long as a youth. I blame headache powder, which I don't use. <laughs> no, I blame not hearing things properly. Okay, there's a level two. Ooh, does it last longer? Or is it just more? It definitely lasts longer. Wow. That is... <laughs> does it end? Oh my gosh. That was excessive. Wow. Oh, I, I let go of the gas too fast. I let go of the gas in in uh, preparation for hitting the balloon instead of hitting the booster pad. Uh, I like how this game trains you on the levels before challenging you on the levels by making you race them twice and be victorious before you race them in a tournament style. It's pretty cool. It's a good game. But anyways, uh, one thing I haven't pointed out, I think it's worth noting. This game is balloon centric, like Mario is star centric and opening various levels requires certain number of stars. This game requires a certain number of balloons to open areas, so I don't actually have to be beating the game all in order. I'm just do. It just happens that I'm doing it that way right now. Hop top volcano. Hop top volcano. Yeah, that's hop top. So, I don't know. If I get to a point in the game where I feel like I'm getting stuck on an area, then I might skip ahead to later parts and come back to it. We'll see. Hopefully I won't have to. But, like I have been saying, my mantra is the game needs to be fun. And sometimes challenging is fun, but when I feel like my skill level is being exceeded or surpassed, I need to move on. I'm too old. No, that's not right. <laughs> I keep letting go of the gas when I pick up balloons too. I need to quit that. I need to catch up. I'm not paying attention. I need to get better boosters. There we go. Well, that was that was a little better. I'm gonna get a level three boost. I don't know if it's better to use the low-level boosts repeatedly or stack them up. It's a good question. I think the flag... I think somebody's already made it to the flag. It doesn't matter if I lose or not. Because... Why? Because I have more points than everyone else. Hopefully that's enough for victory. Yeah, Pipsqueak isn't very good at this level. She's not a very fast flyer. Alright, I got three points out of that. Hopefully that gives me enough. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was the last level. Yay, I got a whiz pick, a whiz pick trophy. Excellent. I think you can actually get a bronze and a silver as well. But I think they're just cups. The gold trophy is actually a Wizpig trophy. Anyway, let's go to a new area. I still don't know why Raj is over there. And I don't know why I keep calling him Raj. I don't really know what his name is. So let's go to level two. I don't even remember which one's level two. I think it's the... Whoa, what's up? Oh, I have to race against him now. I think that'll be all right. Okay, you just follow the flags around the level. You don't have to hit the flags, but I generally try to. They just disappear when they run into the camera. Now, I think there's three races like this, but this one's very easy. I mean, you could practically drift all the way around it. It's just a giant circle. I'll try that in a little bit when I get in the open. Nope. Here we go. Nah. I'm not gonna do that. Oops, excuse me. Um, actually, if you're racing against him and you're losing or you don't want to be doing the race, you can actually deviate from the flags and the race will just stop. And then you can just honk to get him back. 
race him again. <laughs> I think it's funny that he's like, forget you as punishment for beating me in this race. I'm just going to let the balloon float around. I'm not actually going to put it in your inventory. So then you have to actually go chase the balloon down in some cases. Uh, but anyways, like I said just a second ago, if you press the horn button. Oh, well, if you're near the icon on the ground and you press the horn, he'll come over to you. I think you have to be on the icon. I don't remember. Uh, I want the plane. <laughs> We're going to see the hovercraft eventually, I promise. It'll make its appearance soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. I don't know why I keep quoting H.C. Bailey so often. I don't really even watch his videos. I mean, that's not to say he makes bad videos. I just <laughs> I haven't watched him in a while. This is the every, ever, what? This is the every, this, this is the Everest. No, I saw Everfrost Peak there, uh, Everfrost whatever it says. Yeah, Everfrost Peak, and I was like, this is the every, but I was <laughs> meant to say, this is the, uh, the ice area. Is this is the first area. When you hear Everfrost Peak. I wanted to see how he said the name of the level. I don't even think this is the first level in this world. Maybe it is. Um, one thing to note when you're flying is the the plane, the, the only vehicle you can fly with. <laughs> um, you can actually hit the boosters on the ground. You just have to be really far down to hit them. So you can actually hit every three, every three boost in this tunnel here. Yes, I, I communicate with ease and panage. I don't even know what panage means. I think that has something to do with how well you dress, but details. Oops. That was incorrect gameplay there. This this song sounds like some kind of nursery rhyme or kid's song, but I I can't recall what it is. That bam ba bam 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 bam. It sounds familiar to me. I mean it sounded familiar to me when I played the game before. Not uh, that it's the game I'm remembering. <laughs> I felt like that the first time I heard the song. Nickelodeon? Maybe? maybe it was some Nickelodeon cartoon? Who knows? Oh, I'm gonna get it. Ooh. You can fly through that. A lot of obstacles are insubstantial. <laughs> Literally insubstantial. <laughs> But the trees, if you run into them, they make that cartoony, sprawling -y sound. And bounce you back. You've probably already seen me do that before. Uh, we have the coconut trees in the in the last world. <laughs> Let me see. see this. Oh, it didn't even work! I actually nullified the speed. That's... That's weird. I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> yeah, she just ran into you there. <laughs> Come on, Tipsy. Tipsy. Dipsy. I don't know what your name is. All right, everybody. It is time for the most magical level name ever. It's time for Snowflaw Flap. Are you ready for this? Not Snowball Valley. Snow Flaw Flap. There you go. By the by, I'm not going to win this first off. I'm going to go turn around. I thought it was there, but it was the other direction. It's this way, yeah. The key's over here. Uh, if you sh turn left at the start of the race, it's over here. Yeah, see, there's the race start. Okay, so I'm going to restart the race now that I have the key. Wait. You may have to return to the lobby, actually. Let's see. Yeah, uh, you don't have to return to the lobby. Okay. <laughs> After those two false starts. Let's race for serious. Oh yeah, level one boost. My favorite. You can go left too, but I generally go this way. I feel like this is the quicker of the two paths. I have a missile that missed. That's why it's called a missile. <laughs> mm. 
Eventually, I'm gonna have to start using the speed boosts. I mean, not the speed boost, the drifting. Effectively. But not yet. I haven't had to show my skills at this game yet. Except on the boss fight, which I failed miserably 15 times in a row. Oh, wow. I got squished. That's not a word. But that's what it felt like. Oh, my. Calm down, Pipsqueak. This is another one of the levels in the game where the uh, Beta 64 video showcases differences. I think there were pictures from one of the early magazine screenshots that showed that this level had something other than bananas as pickups. I think they were actually coins at one point. But go watch that video, it's awesome. It's That guy has a really happy personality too. Kind of like this, this uh, squirrel. What is he? Elephant. Yeah, that guy. I don't know why they did that. Oh man, I got a key. <laughs> I'll show those off eventually. They're basically like battle arenas. You have to do various things like collect the egg and drop it in the nest and I don't know, not my favorite part of the game, honestly. Walrus Cove's next level. Yeah, Snowflaw Flap was actually the third level. So let's go to Walrus Cove. I think this is the first level we used to hovercraft, actually. Nope, I was wrong. We'll see the hovercraft eventually. You too, Diddy. Oh, this level. <laughs> it's the Sonic level. Do, 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 do. Wow, I f forget this song. It does not ring bells. Oh yeah, there's two boosters there. Forgot. I mean, I remember the level and the rainbow lights in the tunnel, but I don't remember the music. That's weird. I'm usually pretty good about remembering music. There's some very Christmassy music. This is the way I prefer to go. Oh, Magnet! That's what it does! Yeah, it actually... Um, the, the Rainbow Balloon, it pulls your opponent towards you. I don't know if you can let go of the boost and go faster around that or not. I, had, I didn't try it. Low these many times. Let's go ahead and get that one too. Yeah, there you go. Get that good drift in. I don't need that. Let's go ahead and use it. Why not? <laughs> those jingle bells. This is one of those levels where it's really hard to play as the heavyweights because they don't fit through that little narrow path very well. Alright, I'm gonna let go now. Nope, I didn't let go early enough. That was a problem. I, I, it starts sooner than you think, but later than you than the ice path. It's right after you hit the ice path. Details. Oh, whoops. Okay. I lost the race there. JK, JK. Nintendo! Oh, um, this was something I forgot to mention about this game. Uh, and may have also been in mentioned in that Beta 64 video, but I figured might as well hit the oil. It wasn't going to hurt me uh, since I was at the finish line. This game was originally going to be a sequel to the RC Pro-Am games on the Nintendo and the Game Boy and the Super N and the Sega Genesis. It wasn't ever on the Super Nintendo. But the last minute, they didn't think that would do, so they decided to ask Nintendo if they could use the Donkey Kong license. But Donkey Kong was busy filming another movie, so they decided to use Diddy instead. No, that's not true. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, you tell them, Dixie. Pipsy. Squixy. Who knows? Everybody's been talking playing. Diddy Kong Racing. You're gonna stop drifting. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching.